Okay, so we got this nice setup where we can change this value on the color ramp to get different thresholds. And I've made it into a node group. And let me change this value. Oh wait, um, I forgot to plug it in. Oh wait, can't really plug it in. Luckily there's a solution. Let's copy as new driver. And paste driver. And now if I set this to 0 0.5, you can see that this works. But there's a better way to do it. Just use a greater than node. Much simpler. Another reason to use the greater than node is, let's say we have some situation like this where now we can control um, with this slider the value here, and we can do the same thing. So this is here with the greater than node. But if I change the scale to something like five, you can still do the same thing with the greater than node. With the color ramp node we run into trouble. It can only go up to one fifth. Because the main problem with the color ramp is that the input and the output are limited to the zero to one range. So these positions are always between zero and one. So you can also use a color ramp like with two stops and then using ease or linear, which for the map range is the same as linear, linear is linear and ease is smooth step. So let's change both of these to ease. If I change this value, this is the same as changing this. And changing this value is the same as changing this. Then the two min is basically the color or the value of the first color stop and the two max is the value of the second color stop. So third reason why the color ramp is really slow, uh, is bad is because it's so slow. Well, so slow. So here I've got this really big node group, which just chains a bunch of color ramps together, then adds them. So there are six per frame, and we have six frames, so that's 36 per node group. And we currently have 22 of them connected. What happens if I connect the 23rd? It will take a while to compile and we get purple. That means in Blender something is wrong with your shader. In this case the node limit has been reached. So let's try to do the same thing with map ranges. Okay, looking good. How many did we have? Oh, we're already at 31 without it crashing. And at, as we had the 32nd, it will crash. It will crash. It will have reached the node limit. So there you go. So that, that way you can see that the map range is less heavy on your node setups than the color ramp. So if you have a node setup with a bunch of color ramps, it's going to be slower and it's going to take longer to compile than when you have the same node setup with map ranges. And the same applies for the um, other equivalents like the greater than and so on. So when should you use the color ramp? Well, you have, when you have multiple color stops, something like this, or when you're using colors, like it says, it's a color ramp, not a value ramp, right? Okay.